Welcome back to Home and Adventure. We've got a lot to do this episode. We're going to get started right after we finish our coffee. Oh, yeah, because you don't want to see us cranky. And there's really coffee in these cups, too, by the way. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> now I'm going to show you how to make curtains in less than five minutes without smoke, mirrors, or anything else. Twin sheets, open up the package. Now you want to take the flat sheet, not the fitted, the flat sheet. Open up the ends here, at both ends with just some scissors. Open it up. Then feed your sheet through. We're on a time frame here. I got to do this in less than 30 seconds. But you guys have five minutes at home. Okay, set your timer. Okay, now you've got the rod fed through the sheet. Now just pop your rod into place. Boom. Window curtains in less than five minutes. Next, I'll show you how to install your very own hardwood floors. Stay with me. If you hired pros to come in and lay down a new linoleum floor in your kitchen, you'd spend 600 to 1,000 bucks. Why do that? You don't have to. I'm going to show you a way you can do it yourself with these linoleum squares for less than 100 bucks. Let's go. All right, we've taken out the stove, we've taken out the refrigerator, so we've got lots of room to work. Make sure your floor is clean before you get started. You can lay these squares right down over your existing floor. We're ready to go. It's really as easy as peel and stick. I'm going to give Irene the hard part. She'll do the peel part. I'll do the stick. Peel and stick. The sticking part is really the most difficult. Uh, peeling is really simple. What I'm doing here is really what takes the, the brains, the knowledge, the know-how, the strength, okay? If Sean's getting a butt shot right now, that's for all you ladies at home, and obviously some of you guys too. Irene, my goodness thanks. And by the way, Irene's husband is our cameraman, Sean. Hi, Sean. Well, our kitchen floor is finished, mm -hmm. and as I mentioned before we got started, I would said that if you had the professionals do it, you'd be looking at a cost of upwards of $1,000. Our actual cost to install this kitchen floor was about $65, but I want you to know, never at any time have we sacrificed style for cost. This is a floor we're proud of, and you'd be more than proud to have it in your home. What he said. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm sitting here with Jeff's kitty cat, Lassie. Can you see what we're sitting on? Yes, it is a wooden storage box, but not only is it just a wooden storage box, but if you cut a hole in the side, it becomes a pet storage area. You have access to your kitty box, plus a great storage space for all your supplies. And no one will ever know the difference, so it gets your kitty box out of your closet or bathroom, and you don't even have to hide it. <laughs> We're taking a break here today from laying hardwood floors, linoleum, painting. Yep. We're at Sunset Ranch, a few minutes from downtown Los Angeles. It's a We're perfect gonna... getaway, not too far from home. A right. few minutes from town. We're going to get on some horses, take about an hour and a half ride up a canyon, eat in a cool restaurant. And Jeff decided to buy us all dinner. I'm going to buy us all dinner. All right, so we're loaded up, ready to go for some R&R, &R, a nice little ride up the hill. I have a great horse. Her name's Birdie. She's very sweet. And mine's Jackpot. Uh-huh. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Here we go. You okay. first. Okay. Okay, cool. Here we go. Goodbye. Thanks for joining us on Home and Adventure. Coming up next week, I'm going to show you how I took a dead space between two buildings just like this and turn it into my very own garden oasis. I'm Jeff Thompson. I'll see you next week.